This is Samurai Warriors 5, otherwise known as another one. Yep, it's another one, folks. It is another Warriors game, Samurai Warriors 5, and this time it's a reboot. Yes, it's a <laughs> it's a reboot. And I suppose that's exciting if you forget the fact that the Warriors series was always a series of reboots until they just fucking stopped. The Warriors series, Dynasty Warriors, every new sequel would overhaul the characters, completely redesign them, and give them new voice actors. And, you know, it always told the same story because it was always the same period of history the series was based on. But every fucking installment would be a sort of reboot. And then over time, the characters' designs got less and less different, the movesets pretty much stayed the same, and then they weren't reboots anymore, they were just another one, followed by another one, followed by another one. Oh shit, I used the PS5's capture thing and I forgot Tecmoco is one of them companies that puts their fucking logo in the corner as if they're proud of this shit. It seems that the series only ever has a quote-unquote reboot these days when Tecmo Koei and Omega Force want to give us less content and they use reboot as a way to trick us into thinking what we're getting is new instead of the same old garbage in a smaller package. One famous example of a series overhaul was Dynasty Warriors 6 which replaced the entire combat system with something that, if you can believe it was even more simplistic and less rewarding as far as button mashing goes. This overhaul gave us fewer playable characters and even fewer movesets because they shared so many weapons and fought the exact same way. Clones, basically. Dynasty Warriors has had an issue with clones for quite some time and there are various points in the series where the game takes the fucking piss with it. Dynasty Warriors 6 is one example. Dynasty Warriors 9 was another. Another game that touted itself as an overhaul because it had an open world. No, it didn't. It just had a massive map full of nothing full of fucking nothing, and a whole bunch of cloned movesets. Oh, but don't worry, despite the lack of content, it had plenty saved up for a season pass, which is another issue these games have now. So much of it is squirreled away for DLC. They've never gone full microtransaction with it, but their downloadable content plans are exploitative as fuck. The only reason they get away with it is because A, nobody cares, and B, they haven't done loot boxes or microtransactions yet that I can remember. And that was two reasons, not one reason. Two reasons. Anyway, season pass. Samurai Warriors 5 has a season pass. Maybe that's where the unique weapons and fucking movesets have gone. You know, when you have a season pass already promising more weapons and stuff, and the base game has pretty much every character a clone, certainly most of them. Even the main character this game is about, Oda Nobunaga, is a clone. By the time I realised that another character had the same weapon and the same moveset as the main fucking character, that's where I bounced. That's where I was like, you know what? This is boring. There's no reason to feel excited about unlocking new characters because they're just going to play the exact same way as someone you've already got. Samurai Warriors 5 does the thing Dynasty Warriors 8 does, where any character can equip any weapon and have any moveset, and that's used as an excuse to distribute far fewer weapons among more characters. Well fewer characters compared to previous series because it's a reboot. We've got to start again, and that means doing less. Now, if you equip a character with the weapon they're meant to be holding, they get a special attack. They get one attack that is actually, in fairness, unique to the character. One not all that impressive, not all that differentiating move. And you know, we're not meant to call any game lazy. I know that's taboo. We're not supposed to do that because even the laziest of games, even the most uninspiring of titles, did have a lot of people working really hard on it. The work is hard. Creatively, this series has become so fucking lazy. It's the handicap of video games. 
And it would be almost tolerable if not for that aforementioned season pass where weapons are promised. We saw that with Dynasty Warriors 9 as well. We saw more things come to the series, more unique things come to the series, but only at an additional cost. They literally save it for the season pass because the, the, the DLC is ready so fucking quickly and the base game is so not worth the asking price. And I was really hopeful for this one. I really was. They've given it this little cell shaded style look which makes it, it does give it a fresh appearance at least, but appearances is all this game is interested in. Looking unique, looking new, but being the same old guff. And I was having fun at first, until it felt just interminably grindy for zero reward. And the movesets that are there, I won't say the characters, the movesets that are there are quite fun to play as. You play as movesets in this game. The bow and arrow moveset is really cool, you're sliding across the ground and popping off arrows in multiple directions, and it's really fun, I really like the bow and arrow moveset character. Weapons feel powerful, you can swap from one moveset in one one area of the map to another playable moveset in a different part of the map so you can cover ground more quickly. That's been a series mainstay and it's good to see it back here. Each moveset can be upgraded by equipping a character to it and then upgrading the character. And I'm really enjoying talking about the game this way. There are various things you can upgrade in the main menu. You can upgrade a blacksmith to get more horses. You can upgrade the dojo to better train the characters that you will equipped to the move sets. The more I say that, the more I really do think that that's what this game is. The characters are equipment. You enhance their stats to make the weapon more effective, not the other way round. Sorry, I wasn't going to make this entirely about the clones, but you know, that is what caused me to turn the game off in the end. It really was a case of two of my best ones from Samurai Warriors characters. You got Nobunaga, you've got Uesugi, and they fight the exact same way. What's the point? At the point I got in the game, three of them had a katana. Or rather, the katana had three characters. It just ground me down. I mean, on top of that, the game itself is just another one. It's just another I used to love this series so much, but they've released so many of them. So many of them. Between the sequels and the spin-offs and the spin-offs of the spin-offs, there's too much of it for something that neither Tecmo Koei nor Omega Force are interested in turning into a robust product. Every reboot brings with it the promise of a meaningful overhaul to the series and all we get is guff. Arbitrary stripping away of content and the same old rubbish at heart. Dynasty Warriors 9 was so terrible and so exposing in a way that it caused me to re-examine my love for the entire series and ever since then I know I've been harsher on the series because I've run out of excuses for it. There are no excuses for a series that does the same thing over and over and still looks for ways to cut corners, still looks for ways to squirrel content behind extra paywalls and still is I'm gonna say it, lazy. Well, you've got two options. It's cheap or it's lazy. Actually, it's both. Creatively, it is bankrupt. Financially, it's avaricious as fuck. And I almost wouldn't mind if I felt this was the best they could do, but we know it's not because they still churn out bangers when it's someone else's license. Both Hyrule Warriors games were really, really fucking good. But this, this is just another one. Then call it a reboot all day fucking long, but it's not. It's the same shit. It always is. Unless they're on somebody else's IP. I mean, for God's sake, Omega Force. For Christ's sake, Tecmo Koei. Have some goddamn pride in yourselves. Also, can the game not interrupt me every half a minute? Constantly with new objectives, pausing the game and going hurr, hurr, plays this fucking trumpety noise and then tells you where on the map to go. Even though the map during the game tells you where to go. Why is the game pausing all the time? Also, it's glitchy. Characters keep disappearing under the floor if they're too near a wall. Also, the game sucks. 